Royal Arts is an arts charity based in North Yorkshire and um, based in Thirsk, but we also deliver a whole programme of activities all around North Yorkshire. Um, we do visual arts workshops in-house, um, we work, we do a lot of outreach projects, um, working with a variety of people, so um, over 65s, unemployed people, um, people with dif varying disabilities, um, and yeah, we deliver a lot of things to children as well. Um, so this group is called Monday Makers, funded by Better Connect. Um, and basically, it's a 10 week course for unemployed people. We've run three of these this year. Um, so each group, there's about 10 people per group. They do 30 hours in total of learning. And the idea is that we're giving them creative skills to get them back into employment. That could either be through um, setting up their own business, their own creative business, or just feeling more confident in themselves to then pursue finding a job. Um, so the course that is currently underway, they're learning printmaking. Um, so they're learning lots and lots of different techniques in print and hopefully they can take these home with them or join one of our existing groups. Hi, my name's Laura and I have been taking part in the Monday Makers course at Rural Arts. I am, I used to be a teacher. I taught for 10 years um, and then I had children and I have been fortunate enough to have a little break from teaching whilst bringing up the children um, and now I'm at a point where I'm starting to think about what I do with the rest of my life um, and art has always been something that I've been interested in um, and then I saw this course advertised and thought why not. First of all I'm really interested in producing art um, we have, as I said, produced some really lovely um, things. We've gone through some interesting techniques. Um, so this would be something that I might focus on for a little while. Uh, because I've got a teaching background, I can, you know, maybe go back into teaching, but in the art side of things rather than everything. It was quite freeing to be able to be in a space for three full hours where I didn't have to think about what I was making for dinner, whether the bathroom needed cleaning, and I was sat with creative people giving me all of these wonderful ideas. Um, and it was it was it was better than going for a massage. It, it was just it was such a good um, you know me time activity. Uh, yeah, it was I, I left feeling really hyped. I've always been quite good at drawing but I didn't know how to do all of these wonderful techniques that we've learned so I had no idea if it if I would be any good at them um, but because of the way that we've been taught we produce whether you meant to or not <laughs> you produce something that's really interesting to look at and it makes you realize that you don't have to just be good at drawing it's all of the other the other skills I would be really happy if I was continuing to produce artwork, um, potentially displaying it somewhere or even selling it somewhere, um, that would be my ideal situation. Yeah, we find a lot of the people that we come across are suffering from a lot of isolation um, and that could be for a number of reasons. It could be um, you know, financial struggles, because um, obviously there are uh, there's a lot less funding for um, rural areas compared to urban areas. Um, we also find people are isolated through their own um, challenges they face in their life, whether that be um, through men poor mental health or say their family aren't living that close to them or they're a bit older and they find it hard to get around. So um, that's why we're so happy that we can provide what we do. What we see within those groups themselves um, from the beginning to the end, we've seen just some really lovely changes. Um, we've had a gentleman who um, had suffered a stroke earlier on and just it really, really built up his confidence. Um, and I think just the regularity of coming to a group and having a reason to get out of the house helped him so much. Um, even after the course, he said, he said that he could now 
drive again, that he's allowed to drive again, and that he'd seen in himself so much improvement within uh, since the beginning of the course to the end of the course. <laughs>